Let's talk. Let's talk. talk. What I want to talk about? Lighting. One of the most important things that you're going to use to run your reef system. As I said before, your water parameters, your flow, then your light. But these organisms pretty much needs light to survive. So with that being said, let's come back, let's chat about light. All right, so we're back and we're gonna talk about that light. Right now in this hobby, we pretty much run a three light system. We're either gonna do some meta halide, which a lot, refer, a lot of people refer to as the old school method. We're either gonna run the T5, which a lot of people says may be the best of both worlds. You get the color, the growth without the heat, not a crazy bill. And now you have what it's the latest, and some people say the greatest, LED systems. But I can talk about two of those systems. Obviously T5 and LED. I run both. On this system, I run ATI Blue Plus bulbs with Reef Bright strips. And I don't see me, I don't see myself changing these lights anytime soon. I've run from what we know, what we call the Chinese black box all the way to I run two XR 15 pros on one of my frag tank. Not to knock any brand, any method. This is what I like, T5 and Reef Brights. Now, this tank, the original light for this tank was $50. Minus the reef bright strips. Yeah, $50. It was a hydroponic T5 lights. Technically, a T5 lights is some ballast and some tubes. Pretty much the ballast is what is the engine that's pushing the tubes. So you get a couple of good ballast, a couple of good tubes and you have a fixture. Not knocking any company. There's, if you buy one of the name brand fixtures for this size tank, you're probably looking at maybe $700. Eight bulbs, five feet, you're probably looking at seven, eight hundred dollars. Seven, eight hundred from 50 is a big, 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 big difference in price. It's not, a, not gonna be as pretty not going to be as as you know controllable and all of that stuff but would it work yes it's it's working here now what i did i bought a hydroponic fixture i took it apart and i mounted in other words i just took the guts and i mounted it into my canopy that was four years ago and it's still working. To those eight bulbs, I added Reef Bright Strip. And that have colored up my corals from the day I put this tank in up to present. Now, I also have Radeon lights, controllable from your phone. Change, switch, add a little this, add a little that. I think that is almost a negative that you are allowed to run different spectrum. Not that, uh, you know, not that being able to run a different spectrum is a negative, is the fact that we tend to want to slide this a little more, 
oh something is not wrong we, we having the ability to change things doesn't mean you should but we do change things and then that's when we start running into problems because we're constantly fiddling or we want to show off the lights when you know we have company we want to you know company comes over you're like oh let me show you how everything look on the blue and then we start messing with it and that sometimes puts a negative result on the tank the switch it because these organisms pretty much like stability you can give up high salinity as long as it stays high it's good for a good while this tank was at 27 nothing happened because it was at 27 it stayed at 27 so all this all they do they just like to be stable so when you have a light that you could start to slide bars and up UVs and up cool whites and warm whites and hyper reds we tend to start doing it and then we start having negative effects on our corals so if you're looking to a light there's nothing wrong with getting the high expensive name brand lights but if you think that is what you're gonna need to have a beautiful tank I will I will disagree I believe it's your water parameters that flow in that tank and then the lights but T5 is a light that you turn it on you turn it off it's already set for you so most like the company has already given you the spectrum with the bulbs you buy so you can't tweak the bulbs so if you if you want a much easier I will, it's easy the word I'm looking for if you want to have a, a, a much more tried and true not giving you the ability to mess it up, you will go with a T5 fixture. And my recommendation in a T5 fixture will be Blue Plus. All Blue Plus. If you don't like that heavily blue look, throw a couple of Coral Plus in there. But I've never run all of the other, all the other brands specials and all of the stuff I've never run them so I can't tell people how they core look or how they work. I run Blue Plus and Coral Plus. I run Giesman, the equivalent which is a Tinic. I think is the equivalent of the Blue Plus ATI. Pretty much almost the same ball for that for I'm concerned but you know it's Blue Plus. So Every time you look at this tank, you know the fixture that sits above this tank was hydroponic, $50 fixture, taken apart, mounted into this canopy, and look at the work that it's doing. Everything is covered up, everything looks beautiful. So I don't just pop a couple of expensive fixtures on there and think that's going to do the job. It's not. So the next time you're looking into light, just know that it's not necessary to spend thousands to get results. It can be done a cheaper way. I'm not telling you that those other brands are not good. They are good. But are they a must? I will disagree. So with that being said, remember to like, subscribe, Instagram. Facebook, YouTube, hit that notification bell, comment, let me know what you want me to talk about, and I'll definitely be making a video on that topic. We'll be making a video on starting up a saltwater tank, you know, just, you know, starting up a saltwater tank, simple, for the people that don't have ten, fifteen thousand dollars to go put into a tank, so stay tuned for that video. It should be very interesting that, you know, we try to do, you know, an affordable startup setup. With that being said, it's your boy Risto. Risto.
Deus, meu juiz, e